Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Knips here, decked out in all of my festive gear. I hope that you are having a great day and I hope that you have an awesome holiday break. For this week's assignment, we are going to be focusing on another winter project. So we are gonna be drawing gingerbread houses and I'm so excited to see all of the creative gingerbread houses that you guys come up with. So if you don't have regular paper at your house, there are a few other options for what you could draw on. First of all, I think most of your teachers delivered um, school supplies in a brown paper bag, or if you get your groceries in a brown paper bag, you can use that to draw on, especially for a gingerbread house. Or if you had any packages or boxes delivered to your house, you can use a cardboard box for this project too. We need to be a little creative when we're learning from home, so I hope that you can find something that would work um, to create this project with me, and I can't wait to see all of the pictures that you post on Seesaw. I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas and I am so excited to see you again soon. Bye! The first thing that I do to start creating my gingerbread house picture is draw a ground line so that my house can be sitting on the ground. After that, I start drawing the outline of my house. When I'm finished drawing the outline, I start filling in the details of my house, like a door and windows. Sometimes I like to add an extra box or outline around my windows so that it looks like there's a frame going around them. It just adds an extra detail to my gingerbread house. I also want to start thinking about what kind of candy I can add to my gingerbread house picture. After I'm done with the pencil, I am going to use a black sharpie to outline my gingerbread house. But if you don't have a black sharpie, you could use a black crayon or a black colored pencil or a regular black marker, or you could just leave it in pencil too if you don't have any of those supplies. I chose to color my gingerbread house with crayons, but you could use crayons, colored pencils, marker, paint, whatever you have at home.
After you get your entire picture colored, make sure that you take a picture on your iPad and submit it to Seesaw so that I can tell you completed the project.